Otto Worley here. So last week I was flown to Cologne, Germany, where I got to attend Gamescom, where I got to try out all the exciting upcoming VR games, and it was so much fun. There's so much to look forward to. So I'm going to tell you all about them, as well as my time in Cologne. Um, let's get to it. So the trip started out with me, unfortunately, getting stuck on the same red-eye flight with Jbrat. But it was nice to have a buddy to travel with. We landed in Cologne late at night. Next morning I got to do some exploring of the city. It's definitely a very lively place. And then I met up with all of the other VR creators to head over to opening night live at Gamescom. <laughs> which is where they showcase trailers for upcoming games. The big one, of course, was Batman Arkham Shadow. I had actually already gotten an early screening of that trailer a week prior in Seattle, as I was flown there by Meta to demo the game. My full review of that is up now if you want to check it out. I was also excited to see that they are doing a Squid Game game. I feel like they can make a super fun Fall Guys type game out of that. Though apparently it's going to be a mobile game, which I'm not thrilled about because I just feel like it has so much potential to be such a fun online multiplayer game. I would really love like a full-fledged Squid Game VR game. That would be so much fun. Make it happen, Netflix. Next morning, it was time to hit the demos. So the demos took place in the XR Mega Booth, which is where most of the VR demos would take place. This area was not open to the public. My first demo of the day was with Virtual Age. And this was an awesome way to start the day. With so many VR games being demoed, you expect a few to be, maybe be duds. But this one was great and so much fun. It's basically like Prince of Persia in VR with some Assassin's Creed elements. It features parkour type movement and booby traps. There's also this falcon guide that you can pet and it reacts, really adorable. So I really enjoyed it and I am looking forward to playing it again when I'm more awake instead of first thing in the morning. My next demo was for a game called All On Board. If you're a fan of tabletop games, then this one will likely be of interest. Basically, this one allows you to play VR tabletop games with your friends. They're going to have a number of tabletop games available to play from the get-go, but they're also going to add more later. And you're going to be able to add your own custom tabletop games. I never really got into tabletop games, though. I do enjoy poker, if that counts. Love me some poker. Double bluff. The next one was probably my favorite because of how unique the game was. The game is called Wall Town Wonders by Cyborn, and it is a full-fledged mixed reality game. It was pure magic from the get-go. Like, I could not believe the level of detail. Like, it really felt like the buildings and the people were there in the room. It was uh, so cool. Um, then there was a part where you could control an airplane. It definitely w was a, took a learning curve. Um, I crashed many times, many, many, many times, but I was assured that it would be much easier in a larger room. We were in a very small demo space, so that made it a lot more difficult. But yes, this is definitely one I would look out for, especially if you enjoy mixed reality. From what I've seen so far, it looks like it's a really, really, really well done game with a lot of fun, cool new mechanics. And yeah, definitely check this one out. Then it was time for a workout with Action Hero VR from Fast Travel Games. I freaking love this game. It was so much fun. It's a bit like super hot the way like the time and movement worked. Like if you moved, then time sped up. If you stopped, time slowed down. I got really into all the movements of dodging and attacking. I was told the better strategy would be to be a bit more still, deliberate, and boring with your movements. But I'm here for the fun and the workout, so I'm not here to win. I just want to feel like a cool action hero. So that's that's how I played it. Maybe not the best strategy, but who cares? Uh, so aggressive. I love it when a game is not specifically a fitness game, but it basically is a workout. And that's what this one was because my quads were dying the next day. Great way to get that leg day in, for sure. What I'm really hoping is that when they release the game that it has live compatibility because I really, really want to film this in mixed reality and make for a super cool video. But yeah, I really think this game is going to be a hit and you all will love it, for sure. This was my last demo of the day, so I went back to the hotel to freshen up for dinner. Tonight was going to be a dinner party hosted by Meta. The party was super fun and the food was great. There was a DJ there and we danced our asses off. There was also a bowling ring downstairs, so we played a little bit of that. Overall, it was a very fun night. I started the next day climbing 533 steps up to the top of the Cologne Cathedral. My legs were still sore from Action Hero, but I was somehow able to get to the top in I think like nine or 10 minutes. So beat that. Enjoy the views from the top before heading back to Gamescom for the final day of demos. 
My first demo was the new End Dreams game called Vendetta Forever. It was a fun game, it was kind of like Pistol Whip. I wasn't particularly great at it and I died a lot, but it was very, very fun and addictive and you feel cool as heck playing it, so that was a fun one. Then it was on to the Beyond Dreams booth to play their new game, Escaping Wonderland. Now, you may have seen my gameplay videos of Down the Rabbit Hole. This game takes place in the same world, but with a different story. But the world has the exact same feel as it does in those games. The mechanics are the same, the design. What I played of it, I thoroughly enjoyed. And it looks like it's gonna be, have a very promising story and promising characters. So, so I'm excited to play some more of it. So if you enjoyed Down the Rabbit Hole, you will definitely wanna get this one. It's got a great story, cool design, fun puzzle elements. So yeah, definitely recommend checking it out. Then it was on to my favorite demo, Trombone Champ. They are bringing the flat screen game to life in VR and it was so well done and so much fun. I am so excited to play this for you guys when it comes out and show off my mad trombone skills. Basically, you mimic holding a trombone and move your hand to uh, hit the different notes. I actually did really well for my first time playing. I think, like, I was doing expert levels and getting A's, like, mad skills, mad skills here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 yes, that's probably the game I'm most excited for. I'm excited for a lot of them. My last demo of the day was with Soul Assembly for their new game, Last Stand. These are the same guys who did the Cabin Home Invasion, which I had so much fun playing. Oh God, oh God. And like that game, you're fending off zombies and it also has a mixed reality element. However, this game is multiplayer, which is fun. So I got to fight another player while we also both had to fend off zombies invading our homes. Get her. Basically you're battling 1v1 with full freedom to move around your home while your opponent does the same in their own space. Both environments are seamlessly integrated into the game, which is very cool. And it takes your room layout into account. So like a table or a couch, you can use as like a strategic cover or a barricade. It's just very cool and unique. I haven't seen that in a VR game before. So I'm very excited for this game it's gonna be a good one gonna be a good one after that i headed off to the actual convention floor and there were a gazillion people it was very overwhelming but i really really needed to try out the world of warcraft vr experience because i love world of warcraft and this was like a full-on ride experience thing this was a definite highlight basically it was a 40 ride called escape from delarin and you got to ride a mount so you got on like when you went down, like the wind would blow in your face. Probably like the most immersive VR experience I've ever had. I love to somehow see more of that, but yeah, that was really fun. Then we went to dinner where Jay Brat desecrated a pizza. I don't even know what to say about that. This is a crime against pizza. It was just very, very, very disturbing. We, we shunned him for the rest of the night. That was it for Gamescom. I had a blast. So grateful to have had the opportunity to attend and it wouldn't have been possible without all you guys for supporting the channel for all these years. I do not know what I did to deserve it, but you guys are the absolute best. I am so grateful. But yeah, there are so many games that I'm so excited about and I'm so excited to play on my channel. Let me know in the comments below which ones you're looking forward to most, as well as which ones you'd like to see me play on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have an utterly awesome day.